Hi, and welcome to another practice run by Ozzy Ideas Man. No picture of me at all this time. I'm going to try something different with learning about the graphics editing. I'm not very good, but what I've done is try to put to bed some nonsense about the ability of Aptera to do tank turns. Now, for me to do this, I've had to try and draw over an overhead drawing of an Aptera and highlight the movement of the actual body and the wheels, particularly showing where the wheels are. So here we go. I'll also note that after putting to bed the fact that Aptera can't tank turn at all, I also recheck the turning circle, something that Aptera Motors has been very reluctant to give us. Anyway, we'll start with my overhead drawing and I've made it move in a manner that here they start to what they call torque vector which really isn't torque vectoring but this instance for tank turning you have to drive that left wheel forward and drive the right wheel backwards then of course to reverse the direction you can see this you drive the right wheel forward and the left wheel backwards if you do this far enough in either of those directions you will tank turn but just look at how the fixed wheel has to go contrary to the direction it rolls. It's a fixed wheel. It really needs to steer, as I've written there. And also, if the road is smooth, it might just hold your tyre in one spot at the back. But if the road is rough, you could pull the tyre off the wheel or even break the wheel somewhere because of the extraneous forces of a rough road. Now, if we go a little further here. And we'll start to look at the other overhead that I got from a webinar, which shows the slight turn to the right and how there is very little room to turn any further. So now I've tried to mimic the pants and with overlays, I have turned them to full lock where the pants are actually striking the body of the tricycle. That doesn't appear to have that much turn on it, which to me, and I've brought it into here, it shows that the Aptera had the terrible turning circle that I thought it had in the earlier video. That's when I decided to measure off Google the beta going around a car park at Chuckwalla. For added effect, I've included the Mazda MX-5 or Miata in America and put its turning circle in red. Turn that, it's 9.4 metres and showed you that um, it's actually a quarter of what the beta model was turning in without its pants on. But I've since looked at a more recent video where Steve from Aptera Owners Club has ridden in an Alpha Noir, and I believe that it does turn a bare bit tighter than 35 metres. When I watched that video, they followed a bus around a reasonably tight turn I would expect it to be well within 35 metres of turning radius. It was only a quarter turn and the road was very wide, but I still think the turning circle, if we got it from Aptera Motors, the actual turning circle, it would still be nowhere near what the Mazda MX-5 can do and probably not at an acceptable level yet. They haven't shown us anything on tight mountain roads or very small roundabouts. Well, that's it for me. Another dig at Aptera as I look for ways to learn how to edit. I'm not good, but I've seen other more professional videos and I am not really impressed with what they can do either. One needs to be a very learned professional editor first to get things to look smith. That's it for me. Bye for now. Stay safe.